Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. I just recently bought a brilliant, dressy, vintage size Seiko watch, the SACM171. There's a couple different reasons why I bought this watch, and they're both actually kind of interesting stories. So tonight I'll be doing my first impressions of this watch and telling the story behind why I purchased it. So let us begin. So the other day I was watching a Theo and Harris video, and they didn't say what watch Christian was wearing. However, knowing him, I'm guessing it was probably a vintage Rolex watch. It looked like it was vintage size, pretty small. It had a silver or light colored dial on it, and he was wearing it on a blue strap. I didn't hear a single word they said in that entire video because I was too busy staring at his watch. It looked absolutely brilliant. So I decided I needed to get something similar. So I took to eBay and started perusing around for a watch with a nice, elegant, curvy case to it in vintage size with a light dial. I was going to purchase it and then later on get a blue strap for it and see if I can kind of achieve that same look. Now, a light dialed pull router would be a perfect candidate for this. However, I'm not going to be spending $2,000 plus the cost of a servicing right now. I did find a couple candidates that I was after. The trouble was a lot of watches that I was encountering had kind of bauhaus -y cases, so they were totally round and the lugs were kind of utilitarian. I wanted something that was a bit more elegant looking. So when this Seiko showed up, it immediately caught my attention. The case on this watch reminds me so much of the Christopher Ward Malvern 595 that I used to own. The case is super thin and elegant and just amazing looking. I'm pretty sure this watch will be exactly what I'm after once I put a blue strap on it. So let's take a look at this watch and I'll go over my first impressions of it. Here is the watch up close. And I mean, just look at that case. And it has drilled lugs. Very interesting. It's amazingly thin. And just an absolutely gorgeous watch. Look at those markers. It's a quartz piece, as you can see. This watch came with the box and papers, and it's on the original strap, which is in really decent shape. Which is good, because I'll be wearing this for a little while until I can afford a nice navy blue Veblenist strap for it. What's really crazy about this watch is websites like sakurawatches.com are selling this watch right now. And on that site, it's actually still available. It retails for $300. I got this one used, but in nearly new condition for a bit less than that. So I went with this to save a little bit of money. And the only thing I've seen so far is a little scratch on the bezel. Other than that, it is like new. You can see how at least the case reminds me of a Christopher Ward Malvern in these shots. And I used to own one of those and it's absolutely brilliant. I got rid of mine because it is kind of large for a dress watch. I think it was 39 millimeters, 39 or 40. And it was pretty thin like this one is. And it was all dial like this. So it wore kind of large. However, after selling it, every now and then I do miss that watch. So I'm pretty stoked to have sort of a fill-in for it. This is like a vintage size Malvern or something. Absolutely amazing. I have pondered perhaps taking off that seconds hand so that it's even more elegant, but I don't know if I want to risk damaging it. I've only taken watch hands off once. So I'm not sure I trust myself just yet. Plus when I do that, there may be the pin sticking up and if that's visible, eh, I don't know if that would bug me or not. But yeah, that dial is just brilliant. I've been wearing this for about a day or so. It arrived the other day and I absolutely love it. It is so dressy and elegant. I can't wait to see it on a blue strap. 
but I'm kind of weird. I like all my watches on black straps. I think it's the starkness because I've tried wearing watches on gray leather straps or brown, but I always end up coming back to the black straps. I do wear my gold Wittenauer on a brown strap because brown and gold is so perfect, but we'll see when I get the blue if I don't miss this stark black against the silver and light dial there. That's so crazy that you can still buy these watches. I'm going to be doing a full review of this watch, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications so you don't miss that video when it comes out. I'll show you its box and papers, go over all the specs of this watch, and of course get some wrist shots. But I don't want to leave you hanging in this video, so we're going to do a brief wrist shot here also. Tonight I'm wearing the Ricoh watch, another quartz piece, and another piece with a little jewel on the crown. All right, let me take this off and we'll see what the Seiko looks like on the wrist. Here is my new Seiko watch on my seven inch wrist. And that just looks absolutely gorgeous. That is so thin, it's crazy. The strap looks so good on it. I like that amount of taper too. This is an odd width strap at 17. And it goes all the way down to 14, which I feel fits this watch perfectly. I'm going to get a Veblenist strap for it. What's awesome about those straps is you can customize them pretty much however you want to for the most part. So they sell Shell Cordovan watches in blue, but those are unlined and they only have stitching right by the spring bar. However, you can order a totally different color. They offer a brown Shell Cordovan strap with full stitching and it's lined. So I'm going to get one of those and request that it be done in 17 down to 14 in navy blue. So if you're not familiar with Veblenist, definitely check them out. I own a couple of their straps and they're absolutely brilliant. They're kind of spendy. Mine's going to be about $100 because it'll be lined. But if you get the unlined Shell Cordovan, they're $80. I love that dial. There's kind of a subtle texture to it. And those Dauphine hands are gorgeous. This watch is absolutely amazing. So cool. So there you have it, my brilliant new Seiko dress watch. Keep your eyes open for the full review of this watch, and thanks for watching.